So after the last Friday Night Funkin' Twitter meltdown that occurred, I decided to make a tweet kind of addressing the situation, and I decided to say this. Dear FNF Twitter, I do not value your opinion, and I never will. You can't harass me into leaving like you did with Witty, Mid-Fight Masses, Cade Dev, and numerous others. I guess the toxic side of Friday Night Funkin' Twitter saw this as some sort of challenge to them, being like, oh, hell no, he doesn't think he can get harassed out of here? Well, let's go harass him. <laughs> I mean, if you just look at the numbers here, 205 replies, 212 retweets and quote tweets, and I'm sure all of those are extremely nice things that Friday Night Funkin' Twitter had to say. One of the people that decided to show up on this tweet during this entire dog pile was BB Panzu. And if you don't know who they are, they are a content creator in Friday Night Funkin'. They have over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 30,000 followers on Twitter. They're mostly well known for creating the Sky mod. And if you don't know much about that mod, that mod ended up creating a lot of controversy and ruining a kid's life. Now, I guess my tweet about not valuing Friday Night Funkin' Twitter's opinion of me really offended BB Panzu because they decided to reply to this post and I don't know why else they would have, but BB Panzu had this to say, LMAO, you don't even know what happens here, do you? I genuinely don't know what BB Panzu is talking about here, but I did go to his Twitter page so that I could be clued in to what happens here and what i saw was that bb panzu likes to retweet a lot of suggestive artwork to his followers which are primarily minors so while i ignored bb panzu's original reply because honestly i didn't know who he was he's one of those people that always changes their profile picture so i just honestly can't tell who people are on twitter and i don't really care to keep up with it but i decided to make another tweet for everybody that was dogpiling onto the tweet that i made about not valuing their opinion and i said this one last thing for the people showing up on this post lmao and i retweeted something that colson had said to me a while back the tweet colson made says this please do yourself a favor and f out of the community forever i hate you i almost never say stuff like this but i genuinely effing despise you with every fiber of my being you are dirt beneath my shoes and you ruin everything you touch you nasty ape so I shared this tweet that Colson made with the Friday Night Funkin' community on Twitter to illustrate to them, this is who you support. And these are the statements that you find to be okay and that you don't consider to be harassment. For context, this tweet is something Colson said to me after I exposed him for belittling and mocking a cancer patient and encouraging his fans to go to that cancer patient's Twitter profile to see that cancer patient being in and out of chemo and to encourage encourage them to go mock them and harass them even further. Now, when I shared this tweet that Colson made, BB Panzu decided to show up and respond to that tweet as well, saying, he ain't wrong though, which I guess implies that BB Panzu hates me as much as Colson does, and BB Panzu thinks I'm dirt beneath his feet as well. To be honest, I can't tell you what I ever did to BB Panzu to make him hate me. It just feels like he's on Colson's side and is defending Colson, which is a weird thing to defend, in my opinion. I don't know why you would defend somebody that thinks it's okay to belittle and mock cancer patients. Now, I decided to respond to BB Panzu saying, is this you? And I showed a comment that BB Panzu had made on one of my videos talking about the Sky controversy. BB Panzu's comment says this, Correction, I claimed Sky was 12 because I assumed the creator and they were the same age. It was revealed days later that Sky, the character, was 19 and BF's wife forever, the creator, was 13. Now, you can't mention Sky without people having an absolute breakdown and people will come out of the woodwork to claim that this fictional character is a minor. Despite the original creator of Sky stating that the character is 19 years old, as well as BB Panzu here correcting himself, saying that it was revealed days later that Sky, the character, was 19. Now, I'm just going to touch base on this real quick. I could go in depth into it, but I don't think that's for this video. I just find it really gross that somebody would create a mod of a minor being in love with an older man. Like, I don't understand why that was something BB Panzu wanted to create. Another weird thing that just doesn't ever sit right with me is that BB Panzu thought it was a great idea to give hundreds of thousands of people access to the original creator of Sky's social accounts. 
letting everybody know who they were and where to find them on TikTok and Twitter. For whatever reason, people decide to forgive BB Panzu for ruining this kid's life with the mod that he created, but they aren't willing to forgive me for creating a video about the topic. So during all this dogpiling that now BB Panzu's fans were doing, I decided to point out that BB Panzu was the person that ended up ruining Sky's life. BB Panzu replied to that saying, yeah, but I don't remember capitalizing on the situation either. Now, I don't understand this as a reply because BB Panzu absolutely did capitalize on the entire Sky controversy. People to this day still make animations of Sky, still create mods of Sky, and BB Panzu is still well known for creating that mod. BB Panzu also decided to say, yeah, but I remember owning up to it. Watch yourself. And I replied to that saying, what would happen if I didn't watch myself? And it looks like BB Panzu decided to delete this tweet because obviously this is a threat. And I said, damn, dude, you really deleted that tweet fast. Tell me what would happen if I didn't watch myself. One of BB Panzu's fans decided to step in and say, Speed, you should be scared of BB Panzu. He's known to attack people when he's angry. I decided to reply to that saying, BB Panzu, you should definitely rein your fans in. They're making you look terrible right now. And this is what he had to say to that. Nah, you ain't a real person. I'm gonna go work on holiday mod now. You gotta love that somebody with over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 30,000 followers on Twitter thinks that it's okay to be this way. This directly encourages his fan base to treat me like I'm not human. Now you might be thinking, oh, Speed, you have 152,000 subscribers on YouTube. Like, you should be okay. You got people that have your back on Twitter. My following on Twitter is 1,800 people. If somebody with 30,000 followers wants to attack somebody that has 1,800 followers, there's no way the person with 1,800 followers can defend against that. These people know that as well. And the final thing BB Panzu says is, hi, YouTube. Now it doesn't stop there. I decided to go over to BB Panzu's page just because I was collecting stuff for this video and I saw that he made this tweet. BB Panzu said, Speed has this image bookmarked. I just know it. And it's an image that Colson created when they first tried to cancel me. The drawing is of Colson pissing on my grave and the headstone says, rest in piss, you won't be missed. Speed. Now, while I've gotten past this, I don't think it's okay to mock death art of somebody or to think that it's funny or okay to draw death art of people that's extremely cruel and anybody else would be absolutely canceled for doing something like this. But this is the Friday Night Funkin' community we're talking about here. This tweet that BB Panzu made is obviously going to encourage his 30,000 followers to treat me less human than they already do. One of his fans replied to the tweet saying this, Wish we had an updated version where everyone takes a piss on Speed over sexualized mascot and his decayed corpse. That would be fun, and Speed would be so whiny about it, and he'll make a video. Then he'll tweet about it, and the cycle continues. So this is the type of stuff that Friday Night Funkin' Twitter considers to not be harassment. And anything I do, whether it's defending myself, how much evidence I show, it doesn't matter. These people obviously listen to the person that they... Uh, admire, who in this case is BB Panzu or Colson, K Dev Flux, whoever it is uh, that's leading the hate bandwagon. They listen to them and they don't care about any of the evidence that I present. So, hey, we'll just make more content out of it. But uh, honestly, this shit is absolutely crazy. <laughs>